that um, record producer metaphor, our next performer is 100% totally full tilt, bo full tilt boogie punk rock. This is Maddie Faye. <laughs> looking at me now, but I was sort of a weird kid. <laughs> Sixteen is, I think, kind of universally bizarre because you haven't been a person long enough to really know what you're doing, but you have been one exactly long enough to think you know. <laughs> Missteps are inevitable. I missed a couple staircases, and by the time I was 16, I didn't have much going for me other than a promising future as a drug dealer, I ended up in boarding school. Now, I imagined boarding school sort of the same way I imagined prison. I was going to go in there. I was going to find the toughest kid, and I was going to crush them. From then on, it would be smooth sailing. So I walked through the hall on my first day of school in my short plaid skirt and my knee-high navy socks, practicing my snarl. <laughs> it didn't take me long, however, to realize that, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, boarding school is not like prison. Um, <laughs> these kids were nice and respectable and clean and exactly the opposite of all of my friends. I knew that they wouldn't like me, so I decided to hate them first as a precaution. <laughs> I spent the next couple weeks sending mean texts under the table and making mean faces and smoking cigarettes by myself behind the auditorium. <coughs> I was the baddest bitch in school. <laughs> Until one day I'm sitting in math class. Now, I hate math class. I would fight math class right now, anyways. Um, it was never a good day when I was in math class. And today, uh, I was having more trouble than usual following the lecture, and my skin started crawling, and the walls started closing in, and my lungs shrank to the size of peanuts. And this was not my first rodeo. I knew what a panic attack felt like. I also knew that having a panic attack in math class would do nothing for my bad bitch persona. So I raised my hand and I asked to be excused and I calmly got up, walked out the door, down the hall, past the bathrooms, out of the building, and into the sunlight. When I stepped outside, everything got very still and the buzzing in my head stopped and I could breathe again. And it was at this point that I started thinking, well, Maddie, if you turn around and go back now, it'll be like nothing happened. And I continued to think this as I walked down away from the building and towards the hill that would lead me off school property. I didn't have a plan. I was just, just moving along. Um, there was a guard tower, a station, not tower, uh, at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> So I decided I was going to climb over the fence uh, and into someone's backyard. So I, I do this in my skirt, and I hear a dog snarling and a man yelling, and this seems like too much to deal with. So I climb back over the fence and decide to take my chances with the guard. As I near the station, it appears to my luck that it is empty. Unluckily, as I am leaving school property, the guard himself pulls up in his white van. He leans out the window, and he looks at me, and he says, what are you doing? <laughs> you can't leave. To which I said, and kept moving. <laughs> At some point, I hear him say something into a walkie-talkie, and that is the last thing I heard, because I was off running. I took off through a series of yards, through a side yard, and then I'm in people's backyards, climbing over fences, jumping off of things, falling, getting up, not even noticing, because fear and adrenaline are like a superpower. And I keep <laughs> running until I get to the bank of one of the widest parts of the Chattahoochee River. The water is moving really fast here, and I haven't mentioned until this point that it's February, but it's about to be really relevant. Using all of the planning and foresight that I've given to every decision I've made in my life thus far, I close my eyes, I take a deep breath, and I jump into the Chattahoochee River. I crash to the bottom, and then I bob up in the cold water, and whoo, it's real cold. I, what am I doing? Why am I, 
I realize um, that the far bank of the river is a sheer rock face, but never fear, there's a ladder straight across the river. Now, um, I didn't think this through, but uh, turns out one does not swim straight across the river as it is. <laughs> shore levels out before I pull a Rasputin and die of hypothermia, <laughs> turn around and swim back to the shore. So I turn around and I pull myself up in the mud and I sit there and I wait for someone to find me. And find me they did. I was escorted back into school by all of the administrators, the guard, and both of my parents. I have long since lost my shoes. My little plaid skirt and my knee-high socks are covered in mud. Everyone is watching. I would love to tell you that this was the last in my series of teenage misadventures, but shit happens. So I still had a lot of steps to miss. I can tell you, however, that people stopped thinking of me as the snarly, weird girl who didn't talk to anyone and started thinking of me as the snarly weird badass who said fuck math class and jumped in a river. <laughs>